And you know what? With 17 zip up there on the board, I believe that big offensive line of Marshalls is starting to wear down the Paladins. Or it appears that way at the line of scrimmage. Tim Openlander to kick off from the 35-yard line. Oh, a little onside, onside kick. kick. How about this Marshall apple? Will recover. Yes, sir. Penalty marker is down. Maybe there was an offside there. Penalty marker down at about the 37-yard right line. So that would be that was uh, coming back. what you would anticipate. I believe it's coming back. Oh boy, that caught the Paladins off guard. Sure did. Offside it is onside against Marshall. Against Marshall so oh, my. Good. Coach Downer didn't like that call. No, sir, not a little bit. But you know what? That guy in the striped shirt, he always wins. He called the offsides. He was standing right there looking at it. Heck of a play, but all for naught. So that moves it back to the 30-yard line. Now, Openlander, he wants to talk it over. I'm sure he shared some, uh, you know, real insight. Mickey Matthews, the defensive coordinator. Everybody wants a little piece of that official over there. They're taking turns ragging on him. That looked at open right The kicker, you pay no attention to him. Oh, no. Absolutely. That's when they're outside talking to each other. Nobody will talk to him. Those kickers now, brother. I've always thought that if you had a big hopper, there were three groups you could put in there. Kickers, pole vaulters, and left-handed pitchers. Look at him. He's still talking to the official. He had not figured out what's happened. He just knows he gets an opportunity to kick it further five yards back. Now he ain't real sure what he's doing. Oh, he doesn't have enough folks out there. Now, he'd like to play with 11. Well, Marshall's special teams huddling there at the 25-yard line now, and they'll have to kick off from the 30. Open lander got the official straight. Now we can continue. 31 seconds left in the third quarter. Marshall on top, 17-0 over Furman. Now it looks like they might try it this way. Here we go. Oh, that's a little pooch job. Oh, he gets by the Paladins and falling on it at the 22-yard line. Furman will take over there at the 22. Moore actually First fell on it. That just was not a very heads-up play on your kickoff receiving team. You know they got to kick it with the penalty, so it's not going to go that far. But in reality, not too much has gone right for those Purple Paladins here this afternoon. But the Marshall defense has had a whole lot to do with that. First down and 10 now for Furman from the 22-yard line. Under 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Penalty markers are down. Bonaventure dumps it out to Moore. Pass complete to Mark Moore. And he will get back Flag to the, the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. There are a couple of penalty markers down. Bonaventure got hit pretty hard that time by Duncan. They're not backing off any, are they? Look at Bonaventure. You can tell he's been in the action all afternoon. Needs a clean towel. Offside against Offside Marshall. Against Marshall. Tell you, you mentioned, uh, Mike, that Brandon Bonaventure took a pretty good shot after he got rid of the football. Let's take another look. John Duncan bears down on him. First and five. But he gets hit by Larry McLeod from the other side. He saw Duncan, but he didn't see McLeod. So on the five-yard penalty offside against Marshall, it's a first and five from the 27. The officials want to stop for a moment, get everything set. I guess there was some mud on the ball again. So the center asked the official to please get it off. First down, five. Eye backfield behind Bonaventure. 13 seconds to go in the quarter. Just a dive. Cole Pepper still on his feet. Goes down right at that first down marker. He may be a yard short. And that's going to be the last play here in the third quarter. That was a long throw for Brandon Bonaventure. Jason Grayson, he just ran underneath the uh, that deep out. Third interception of the year for Grayson. Here it is. Long, long pass across the field. Deep scrap. A little bit underthrown. Jason Grayson runs underneath of it. 
Ball intended for Harrison. And the herd is back in business. The ball at the 27 yard line as we start the fourth quarter. Marshall on top 17 nothing and Grayson with his third interception of the year Parker gets the handoff turns it back inside and fights his way to the 22 yard line for a gain of five excellent cutback let's head down to Kenny Bass Kenny yeah Mike I don't want to jinx Marshall's defense but this unit was maligned against the Citadel a couple of weeks ago giving up some points in the second half keeping the Bulldogs in the game since then though Marshall's D has not allowed a point Four quarters against East TSU, three quarters today, gunning for a second straight shutout. Hope Jim Dunnan doesn't get mad at me if a firm manages to score. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Matthews crowd pitching another shutout. Thomas on the carry, and he's caught behind the line of scrimmage. Reggie Williams, the nose guard, grabs him by the ankles. Big loss. Here you see the counteraction. Hand back, Thomas. Behind the line of scrimmage, Reggie Williams comes up with a big play, the nose guard from Nashville. Big stop for the Paladins. Five-yard loss, so it's going to be third down and 10 from the 27-yard line. From the shotgun. Here comes some heat. Ready Nowhere to, to go. Throws it complete to Martin at 10, 5, touchdown, Tim Martin. A 27-yard touchdown pass. And that freshman quarterback, he ought to get half of those points. What an athletic play and a heads-up play. Watch this on the replay. From the shotgun, he gets some heat early from the Furman Blitz. Comes into the pocket. Still sees the field very nicely. Gets the ball to Martin. The defensive back falls down, and Martin waltzes in the end zone. Second touchdown pass for Chad Pennington today, and the extra point is good by Tim Openlander. And the herd has jumped out to a commanding lead, 24 zip. There's timeout on the field, three, 13 minutes and 25 seconds to play in the game. Marshall 24, firm and nothing. We'll return in a moment. Touchdown here this afternoon. Did a great job of coming back for the ball that time. Uncovered, very elusive, got in the end zone. And of course, Grayson with that interception to give Marshall great field position, and they only had to travel 27 yards. Martin 64 yards and five catches, two touchdowns. You know, you can talk offense all you want, but the Marshall defense is what's uh, so impressive about this football team right now. The kick from Marshall, Jim Openlander. Openlander getting it set at the 35-yard line. You remember Marshall had that onside kick a few minutes ago, but with a 24-0 lead. Interesting to see if they try to pull the Paladins. And they won't. High, but not very deep. Kick gets it to 20, 25, 30, more up to the 33 yard line. So that's a 13 yard return for Mark Moore, who averages about 20 yards. Herman takes over first and 10 at their own 33. Brandon Bonaventure, still the main man. Didn't know they might uh, think about uh, changing quarterbacks. But I don't really think you can point the finger at uh, Brandon Bonaventure. We'll see if the Paladins can get something going. First down and 10, the handoff to Moore. And he goes down at the line of scrimmage. Nice tackle by Larry McLeod, the sophomore from Huntington. By Mark Moore. Larry McLeod, the outstanding linebacker. Having another big afternoon. Brady, Larry McLeod. Folks don't realize how stout Marshall is up front. He tried to run the counteraction. Too much penetration. Larry McLeod, boy, he ate him up from the backside. What a linebacker. Second down, nine. Berman going to put it up. Bonaventure over the middle. It's caught at the 43 yard line. Nice grab by Broughton. Scott Smythe makes a stop for the herd. Made by number 21, Scott Smythe. It's going to be third down and one. 
depending on the spot, uh, you're exactly right. We're right on top of this one. Third and short. Another look at Bonaventure. Furman's fine quarterback. Sets his feet, gets it to Broughton, the big tight end on the crossing route. Smite makes the tackle about a yard short. Total the offense here. Marshall Domination. double the effort of Furman. Domination. Fumble. Uh -oh. Fumble. And it's Marshall trying to pick it up at the 40-yard line. They picked it up. B.J. Summers going the distance. 10, 5, yes, touchdown. B.J. Summers picks it up and oh goes 40 God. yards. And touchdown by number eight. And that's kind of an insult to injury. The herd faithful across the way, awfully excited. Here's the hand back. Ball's on the ground. Not sure the back ever got it. McClarty. Everybody's trying to pick it up. Now it's finally picked up by Summers. And Summers can scoop. He might want some time at tailback. That's his second fumble recovery of the year, but he goes in for his first touchdown. 40 yards for B.J. Summers, the sophomore. And the fat lady's on stage. Tim Openlander hoping to continue his streak of extra points, and he does, does it. 11 minutes and 43 seconds now to play in the game, and Marshall leads it 31 0. We're going to take a break and return to Greenville, South Carolina, where the Marshall fans are spending a few moments on the thunderclap. Hope you'll stay with us. Play in the game, the last. Uh, game in terms of uh, Southern Conference contest here in Greenville for Marshall. Waiting back Mark Moore and Josh Cole to return the kickoff there at about the 10 yard line. And they've had difficulty handling Tim Openlander's kickoffs as of late. Openlander has it teed up 35 yard line. Openlander 5'10", 173 pounds. And Moore will return it. 25. 30, 35, and he goes down at the 38-yard line. Return by Mark Moore. Not a real pleasant homecoming here, Furman. The the at the 37-yard line. Look at this. Points over turnovers. 14 big ones for the herd. Marshall turned it over once, and uh, Furman has turned it over twice. B.J. Summers taking one of those to... And I tell you one thing, there are an awful lot of white jerseys down there on defense now. You know those are the second liners. Not too much mud on those jerseys. Bonaventure's pass complete at the 40-yard line. Nice catch by number 80, Josh Cole. That's a 20-yard Melvin Cunningham makes the stop. Deep post route. Bonaventure's got some time to throw. Excellent post route. Josh Cole, the chains move. 23-yard gain officially, so it's first down and 10. And some Marshall thundering herd territory at the 41-yard line. Bonaventure's pass complete. Harrison, he gets to about the 32-yard line, a 9-yard gain. Allen's move the football. Damon Allen seems some playing time. The freshman making the tackle on Harrison. Going to be a little tough for those receivers looking back into that sun. But the Paladins would like to get something on the board. High backfield behind Bonaventure on second down. Short. And off to Moore. Has the first down. 25 up to the 23-yard line. Larry McLeod holding on to Moore for the tackle. Clock stops with 10.31 to play in the game. Marshall on top, 31 nothing. You've got uh, three front liners in there at about eight seconds.